Hi, uh, very good morning to everyone, whoever is listening to this demo. This is a demo on Confluence Administration Training with ManMagix as your skill partner. Today, I will be your demo trainer. I have five plus, five plus years of experience in configuring Atlassian tools, the Jira and Confluence, which includes you know, understanding not just Jira as a project lead or a project manager, but also understanding it as at an administration level. And at the same time, consulting companies or individuals or teams on how to make Jira effectively to adapt to their team and how they can train the teams, how they can support the teams to make the best use of Jira and Confluence at the same time uh, in their organizations. Confluence being an administrative tool, uh, being a documentation tool uh, from Atlassian, which can be integrated with uh, Jira to make it efficiently used, how you can manage Confluence on a day-to-day -day basis to make it an effective documentation tool, and also how you can integrate it with Jira to collab to get that collaboration kind of efficiency for your team. The scope of the demo, uh, we would be understanding about intro to Confluence. Confluence is, again, a collaborate and organized kind of tool at one place. Uh, your teams can collaborate on particular pages or spaces and they can ID it, you know, put their ideas on a confluence pages. And these dynamic pages are easy to create, edit, delete, or make changes. At the same time, you have different kind of macros that add additional uh, data or kind of creative touch to these kind of pages. At the same time, confluence can be integrated with Jira and uh, these pages in conference are usually structured in a very organized manner and which at the same time you would be able to have that security from page to page from space to space on who can view a page and who cannot view a page who can edit delete or make certain changes to the pages or to a space at the whole and um, there are different kinds of templates in conference also where you can put your business requirements or put retrospectives or put day-to-day -day works or kind of have the 90-day plan for your team and have the time kind of uh, roadmaps for your team. I think there are different kinds of templates in, G uh, in conference that you can make use of to better have, you know, to have a strong documentation for your team, which can always be referred back to. Um, at the same time, Confluence it can be used for small to larger size teams and high stake priority projects. At the same time, there are many best practices that we are going to speak in the uh, training that would help you to understand how to efficiently use Confluence. At the same time, we would understand more about how Confluence can be integrated with other tools and um, how the team can and come forward and use the confluence. The other part of understanding confluence is, is the administration of confluence and how you can administer, what kind of uh, privileges that an administrator have and what kind of changes that an administrator can make to make confluence um, better for their project management teams or any kind of team, I would say. Moving on, this is a course outline of what we will look in um, the training of Confluence. We will understand what is Confluence, why are we using Confluence, and what are the advantages of Confluence with other documentation tools as um, Atlassian gives this documentation tool, how effectively can we use it and what kind of, um, why are we exactly using it, how productive it can be for our teams. At the same time, understanding the essentials of conference, the basic structure of what a conference has, that is a space, how to create a space, how to create a page, which is which comes under a space, how to create these pages, edit the pages, delete the pages, make multiple changes to pages. At the same time, at a space level, you have different kinds of um, permissions like who can view your space and who cannot view your space how you can effectively you know bring creative touch to your spaces how you can integrate your spaces to other tools um, and at the same time how how you can rearrange your spaces uh, pages in the spaces um, using content tools we will try to understand this at the same time moving on we have pages so the structure is there's a space, there is a page under them, and under the pages, they can be sub pages. So it is space, page, and sub pages. So we will understand how to edit a page at um, any point in time. It is very important to understand it because we would be working with uh, pages if you're documenting anything in conference. So we would understand how to do different kinds of activities on pages like edit a page, create a page, add uh, attachments to a pages, how to, how to 
team can collaborate on a particular page, how you can add images, files, charts, um, how you can add filters, um, how you can export and import content, and how you can put macros, like uh, have a content macro for your page and um, have different kinds of diagrams or have statuses icons or put emojis in your pages. I think they would understand a lot of detail into how you can efficiently configure your page to make it more effective and for the team to collaborate. Um, moving forward, we have something called conference administration. We would understand at an instance level, like it is not to a particular space at an instance level. So spaces, multiple spaces are contained in conference. So one team can have one space, other team can have other space. So all these spaces are collaborated under Confluence. So we would understand how to manage at a whole all these spaces at a, as a Confluence administrator. If you're looking for something under Confluence administration, uh, how to uh, configure the you know tool to make to efficiently uh, you know put it across to your teams and how you can add security to uh, your uh, instance and at the same time how you can edit the look and feel of the instance and other important aspect as i was talking about is the integration of jira and conference how you can integrate jira and conference and what are the advantages of integrating jira and conference and uh, what are the reportings that you can bring from jira to conference and how you can create issues in conference how you can pull out issues uh, from from Jira into Confluence, um, and a lot more about the collaboration effect in uh, between Jira and Confluence. These are all the topics that we will discuss in the sessions, and it will take around uh, estimated to 10 to 15 hours of discussing all these topics. These are quite effective, um, and once we kind of finish this course, you will be able to understand at the end of the day how to effectively use Confluence when you are uh, working with smaller teams or with larger teams. And the usage of templates is very important um, as the templates make your life easier um, to have all that standard template already created and use it effectively to uh, put it across to your team, whether it is minutes of meeting templates or retrospective templates, or roadmap templates or 90 day work plan templates. Um, any kind of such templates are available in uh, in Confluence, there are like more than 50 plus templates, I would say, that you can use uh, in Confluence um, to effectively collaborate with your team. So what would we be able to understand um, as, as a Confluence user, uh, we would, when we're getting to Indian Confluence, it is, it is important to understand how you are starting off uh, using conference as a user uh, means at a user level how you can create a page how you can manage your own profile in confluence and how you can do the basics of you know using a page editing a page using a page some kind of activities with the page and everything but as a conference lead you will understand how you can manage your space for your team so your team might be creating multiple pages and uh, everything but however you would want to see that um, there is that security option or permissions options to make sure everybody is not deleting pages, everybody is not editing other pages, or what kind of cross um, action activity is happening in, amongst your team. So it is very important that each individual in your team is given a specific, uh, specific permission to make sure that there is a security level so there is no miss, uh, misses happening in uh, editing others' pages or deleting others' pages, which might have sensitive information or which might be useful for them. So it is very important to understand at that standpoint of view how to maintain the security and a project uh, a conference uh, space lead would usually do it and at the same time he would be involved in um, configuring the space at a whole whether it is a look and feel whether it is integrations whether it is um, also looking at um, what is the name of the space or um, even understanding how he can structure the pages from time to time, which page should go into uh, which category and everything. Labeling the pages or these kind of activities uh, he would be able to do. And as a conference administrator, as I was just speaking, he would be able to understand on a whole how you can conference, maintain the con complete conference instance, whether it is integrations with Jira or any other tools or look and feel of the complete instance, giving permissions at the instance level to people, um, marketplace activities and all that. 
Additionally, we would provide uh, courses that would uh, be some support articles or books and also third party custom notes that would be helpful for you to have a broader idea on uh, conference and after each and every session, we would be able to provide such uh, details to you so that you would be after the immediate of the session, you would be able to relate whatever was taught in the session and you would be able to take actions or come up with questions on them on those particular topics. Projects. The main important thing that we will look as a conference because it's just a documentation tool is a hands-on training for you so that you're able to navigate because there's so much happening in the conference in terms of um, the areas of navigation. I think one of the best thing that we do is helping you navigate where the options are, helping you understand where the uh, option lies or where a particular template should be created, uh, where a particular macro is lying, how to edit the pages, what all options are available and everything. I think that is one of the most important thing that we are looking at because that is where you will be able to get that hands-on training of understanding the tool and immediately make changes and understand where that particular option is so that you so that you're able to, easily able to navigate it and uh, use that particular option. The lab setup is completely easy. It is not uh, that much of work that is included. You can have a standalone uh, Windows system. Uh, if, you're, if you can install Confluence as a server on your system or the best way to use is a Confluence cloud, which is absolutely free and we can help you set it up uh, as a free instance altogether. At the same time, when it comes to mock interviews, if you're preparing for interviews or anything, we would absolutely be happy to, you know, give you some questions, like have the training kind of thing on how to, uh, you know, give interviews or, or, or during the training itself, I would say we would talk about a lot of questions that they might be asking about conference in your interviews and after the uh, sessions, if you have any questions on that, we can just have mock interviews or set up, you know, kind of questionnaire that you can use for uh, that you think um, that will help you in interviews too. Uh, the certifications are available for Mind Magics. Um, so the certifications are on demand. There are certain certifications that are on demand that are given by Atlassian that would be available on www.atlassian.com. Uh, uh, or else um, you can, for this particular, if you want for a conference certification from MindMagics, MindMagics would be more than happy to provide you a certification that is available. We do have a certification structure. How does it look in the next slide? Um, so this is how a certification looks. And MindMagics gives you a certification that you have completed a particular course during a particular date and time. And you mean that. That's it uh, for all about uh, this training session in conference. Conference as a documentation tool is highly effective in for your teams. I think we are best in providing the training for conference as kind of experience our trainers come up with. Mm -hmm. And uh, we um, do, I personally as a conference trainer, do have that complete hands-on training on conference and the ability to teach someone to understand conference and also the navigate conference of uh, the kind of levels of training we've given with time have always been excellent and also testimonials absolutely speak about it. Um, but yeah, if you have any share feedback or you would like to contact with us related to the course scope or schedules or any payments or costs and references that you would need, please do email us at info at mindmagics.com or you can call our, on our India number uh, listed here or if you're in the US, please do call on our ESC number and we would be more than happy to help you out. And if you want to talk to the trainer, I would be, as I'm a trainer, I would be absolutely available to talk to you whenever the Mind Magics team would be help, you know, able to set up a call between us to just take you through a quick call or a quick uh, kind of demo sessions. Thank you so much for everyone who is listening to this demo. Uh, thank you for attending the demo.